VGA versus WADA. Who should you grade with? As always, make sure to hit the like button down below to increase your chances of getting higher grades in your next submission. Now, this is probably the question that I see asked the most by people. It's always, should I get this graded? And if so, who should I grade with? Well, hopefully I can answer that question for you today. When it comes to video game grading, we have two main companies in this space. There's WADA and there's VGA. Now, of these two companies, they both provide video game authentication and grading. However, how they do the grading and the overall product you'll receive when they're done vary greatly. And this is where I'm going to provide you with a lot of information. In this video, I'm going to cover three main points that most people talk about when deciding if they should go with VGA or WADA. I'm going to talk about the design, the way they grade the items, and the market demand that currently exists. Before we hop into those points, I just want to mention that I'm not going to really talk about price. I did a video breaking down the price difference between WADA and VGA already, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. Overall though, the price isn't really going to be your guiding factor. If you want the cheapest possible option, go with VGA. You'll save yourself roughly $25 to $45 per game. Also with the pricing, both companies are backlogged right now. WADA is extremely backlogged. So even if you're looking to submit on the lowest tier, know that it might be six months to a year before you even get your items back. So if speed is an issue, make sure you pick a more expensive option. With that stuff out of the way, let's talk about the first point, the design and aesthetics of both the WADA and VGA cases. To begin, I'm going to look at the case on NES games, and this is because these are games where the artwork is oriented top to bottom. Instantly looking at them, you can see how much smaller the VGA case is versus the WADA one. This extra three-dimensional design here that WADA put at the top takes up a lot of extra spaces, as well as these tamper-proof clips that they have at the top and bottom sides. You can see on the WADA label, they include a lot of different information, whereas on the VGA label, it's quite simplistic in nature. Getting closer to the WADA case here, they tell you the grade is a 9.8 and the seal rating is actually an A++, which is separate from that. They tell you the game is sealed, that it's USA region and the release date. Coming over to this side though, is where they list all of this information about the variation of the game and the box. So you can see that they're saying this is revision A, oval seal of quality, registered trademark, K to A rating ESRB and a three line warranty box with a three screw cartridge inside. On Wario's Woods, the variation isn't as important as I'm pretty sure every copy of Wario Woods is the exact same. But as a new buyer, if you were entering into the market, you can see how Water provides you with a lot more information about the title in hand than VGA does with their label where they tell you the release here still, they tell you that it is the white Nintendo seal and they give you the game title. If there were any kind of variations, VGA would put them at the bottom underneath the Wario's Woods. However, VGA is quite notorious for being bad with marking variations, as well as not being able to identify a lot of variations. The thing is, is VGA is a toy company that grades video games, whereas WADA is a company that specializes in grading video games. So you can see it immediately in the amount of information they provide on the front labels. If we switch to the back of each of them, <clears throat> On the back you can see that there is absolutely no information on the VGA one and the WADA one provides you with extra information again. It reiterates the grade of 9.8 and A++ and then it tells you about the seam variant which is a first party H seam. On the side there in the little details box they'll provide facts about the game or other pertinent info about your variation. You can see from the side of the game, there's a nice little WADA logo at the top, whereas again, VGA has nothing. And on the other side of the case, they reiterate the grade once again, as well as the game title. So you can display them from the side nicely, whereas again, VGA has nothing. So overall, on NES games and other vertical oriented boxes, I actually do prefer the detail that WADA puts into their case. I wish the case was smaller in general. VGA cases are far easier to store and handle, but the extra information provided by the WADA case is really nice. However, the WADA case does not stand up nearly as well when we swap over to a game that is horizontal in nature. Okay, so now we can see what the cases look like in games that are meant to be displayed horizontally. And you can see that in order to read the information at the top of the WADA case, the game has to be stacked up and down. Whereas VGA actually customizes their cases so that you can display the game properly with the information and the words still appearing proper. If I take the WADA one and I swap it, you can see how it looks now on its side with all the information reading 
top to bottom. And this is the thing that a lot of people, including myself, don't like about the WADA cases. I have no idea why they didn't just make a case where the information reads across this top instead for N64 Super Nintendo games. Purely speaking about eye appeal, it's unappealing to have the text going this way while you have the text of the box going this way. Overall, with the VGA versus WADA design, I don't like the extra bulkiness that the WADA case provides, but I really like the extra detail they put on the label. I really don't like the WADA cases when they're put sideways, but I don't mind WADA at all for the vertical alignment games. VGA greatly lacks detail on their labels, but they have such a clean, sleek design that I always keep going back to them. WADA provides you a lot more detail, which is super nice as a buyer entering the market, but as someone experienced in both cases, I would rather have most of my stuff encased by VGA, all things equal. Alright, we looked at the design of the two cases. Now what I want to talk about is how each company actually grades the games. And this is going to be the most important factor for you when you actually decide what company you want to grade with. The big thing you need to understand is that VGA grades both the wrap and the box as one thing. They don't separate the two grades. Whereas on WADA, you can get a box grade and a seal grade and they'll keep those separate for you. So are you catching on as to what this means? With VGA, if you have a really bad seal but a really nice box, you're going to get dinged purely for having the bad seal. Whereas with WADA, if you send something with a really bad seal but a really good box, the box might still be a 9.4, but your seal will get a B plus rating. At this point in time, the market is definitely preferring seeing a high grade box versus a high grade seal. Realistically, both are very important when it comes to the condition of a factory sealed game. But as of January 2021, there's more emphasis placed on the box than there is the seal. And so if you're educated on this, you can make a good decision as to where to send your game based on the condition of the box or the seal. I'm going to bring in the Ocarina of Time again and show you guys an example of how this matters and why it matters so much. When we look at VGA, you can see that they have a single number on the label. This is a VGA 85 plus game with a gold sticker. That 85 plus grade means that they looked at both the box condition and the wrap condition and deemed it to be 85 plus. When you look at this Zelda Ocarina of Time, you can see that it is an 8.5 grade with an A seal rating. And this is where it becomes important, because VGA combines these two grades into one. So this Zelda is an 8.5 A, and the Zelda Majora's Mask is an 85 plus. And maybe it'll be surprising to you to know that the Majora's Mask is actually an overall much, much better condition than this 8.5 A Ocarina of Time. If the Majora's Mask were to cross over to Wada, it would be somewhere in the 9.4 A plus range. And that is where the big difference comes into play and what you have to understand. So this Ocarina of Time, I would personally send it to Wada as well, because if you look right on the front of it, there is a big hole in the wrap. And why is that important? If you've already seen my video on how VGA grades your items, then you know that that hole is a big issue. If you were to take that Zelda, even in perfect condition, and submit it to VGA with that size of a hole, you'd be looking at something like a VGA 80 or 80 plus. VGA is very hard when it comes to shrink wrap holes. And this is where it becomes troublesome that VGA doesn't separate the two grades like Wada does. So now let's take that same Zelda game and let's say that the damage is actually centric to the box and the seal is perfect. Now if you take that game and send it to Wada, you might get a 6.5 rating on the box, but an A plus seal rating. But if you send this game to VGA, you might get a VGA 80 still because the shrink wrap is in such nice condition. So when you're making the consideration of what company you need to choose for grading, you also need to consider what kind of damage your game has. Because the two grading scales are so drastically different from one another, there's definitely a way that you can take advantage of each of them. So if your only question is what company do I need to send it to for the most resale value? Well, you should also be considering what company will give you the highest perceived grade based on the damage that your item has. Of course, that's going to take some experience. I don't expect you to pick the perfect company every time, and for a lot of people, if you simply don't like VGA, don't use them. I just want to give you the proper information that you can make an educated decision yourself. And if we're only going to talk about resale value, let's look at who you should be choosing most of the time. So the last point I want to discuss with you guys is the market demand or liquidity that you can expect with both companies. Regardless of which company you choose, you are going to have the added benefit of extra market liquidity. Both VGA games and WADA are very easy to sell at this time. 
However, with that said, the market does prefer WADA. This is largely due to WADA having access to heritage auctions for consignment. If you grade your game with WADA, you can then consign it to heritage auctions. From there, they will sell it on your behalf, and a lot of the auction prices that heritage get, you simply can't achieve if you were to sell yourself on eBay. With this heritage auction in the back of everyone's mind, the market has adopted WADA as the leading company. If you want to sell your game, go grade it with WADA. That's kind of become everyone's quick assessment of the two companies. And really, I do agree with them on the high-end items. In most instances, you're probably better off grading with WADA because of how the market perceives them at this time. For a lot of my own personal collection stuff, I still use VGA as I do prefer the case design and I understand how they grade. So realistically, I use both companies depending on what my goals are. And that's really what you have to decide for yourself. If you're looking to resell something and get the most that you can, it is probably the better choice to go with water. However, you do have to consider what I said about the different ways they grade. If you send something to water with a lot of box damage but a good seal and you come out with a water 6.5, you might be better going off to VGA and getting a VGA 80 because your seal is so nice. You can see there how the two grading structures actually come into play. People will want a VGA 80 more than a water 6.5 in most instances, so you need to keep that in the back of your mind rather than just sending everything to WADA and expecting it to outsell VGA counterparts. Learning how to use both VGA and WADA effectively will obviously take time. Regardless of who you go with, you will find increased demand and liquidity once you grade your video games. All right, so we just talked about a lot of stuff there. And after all is said and done, who should you grade with? Now, if you purely just factor in the design and the market demand, you have to go with WADA. They provide a lot more information on the label to make educated decisions, and people value them more in the market at this time. Yes, the WADA case is pretty bulky and looks kind of stupid when you put an N64 Super Nintendo game in it, but overall, and especially if you're reselling, these are flaws that you have to look past. And hey, a lot of people actually really like the WADA design and don't think the extra bulk is a downside. With that said though, VGA does still have a place in this market. If you actually want your games back in a reasonable amount of time, if you want to pay less, and if you want the sleek designed cases, VGA is really good, especially if you know when they're going to grade higher compared to WADA. Don't just default to the WADA choice. You have to keep VGA in the back of your mind and learn how to actually examine your items to see which company would be best suited to your needs. Hopefully this video helps you out a lot. If it did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below and I can answer more questions about grading. Let me know which company you prefer. Have you ever used VGA? Do you only use WADA? Let me know. Until next time.